block diagram for temperature control of a liquid. Hello everyone, my name is Rafael, I'm an electrical engineer, and in this video we're going to see the application of control theory to a block diagram which models the temperature control of a liquid using a proportional plus integral controller. And to do so, I brought this problem here. I'm going to read the problem. Block diagram for temperature control of a liquid. The block diagram of the figure represents the closed loop control of the temperature of a liquid that circulates through a passage heater. The control is carried out through a proportional plus integral action implemented by adjusting the Kp and Ki gains in the communication supervisory with the industrial controller. The question, what is the value of Kp and Ki for the closed loop system to operate with underdamped second order poles? that influence for a damping factor of 0.8 and a step response with a settling time of 8 seconds. All right, my friends, this is what we are going to do. And to begin solving this problem, we need to consider two steps. The first step will be to observe the transfer function of the controller. We have the integral action and the proportional action. And the, okay, I'm gonna call here E, I'm gonna call here Y, just to help us, okay? And the transfer function of this controller is gonna be Y of S divided by E of S equal to Kp plus Ki divided by S. We are going to use this. And the other step that we need to consider is this. Imagine that you have a system like this, okay? And here R of S. Whenever we have this closed loop block diagram with a feedback element, we can use the shortcut C of S divided by R of S is equal to G of S divided by 1 plus G of S H of S. Okay? We are going to use this and this to find the closed loop transfer function of this bigger problem here. All right, so let's do it. Remember this and remember this, because it is paramount that you understand this before moving on. Okay, we are going to simply multiply the guys here, I have already told you uh, the transfer function of the controller and then the part that controls the temperature is going to be the multiplication between these guys, okay? We're going to call G of S the multiplication between Kp plus Ki divided by S, okay? with this transfer function here. 20 over 100 S plus one. Okay? And you can see here that H of S is equal to one because the output is being directly fed to the input, okay? So, 
the transfer function of the feedback element is equal to 1. Okay. And considering this, the overall transfer function from T of S to U of S is going to be, therefore, T of S divided by U of S is equal to here KP plus KI divided by S multiplying 20 divided by 100 S plus 1 and below this in the numerator and in the denominator we're going to write 1 plus Kp plus Ki divided by S multiplying 20 100 S plus 1 and then here we are going to multiply by 1 because we saw that the transfer function of the feedback element is equal to 1. The output is being directly fed here so it is 1. And if we conduct some algebraic manipulations here, we're going to find that the closed loop transfer function is of the sort. Okay, I'm going to write it here on the board and then you guys will see what I mean. And the T of S divided by U of S is equal to 20 times KP times S plus KI and it is going to be divided by 100 times S squared plus S times 20 KP plus 1 time, uh, plus 20 KI. Okay, so this is the transfer function from T of S to U of S. Great. And now, from this point, it is necessary to use models that are frequently brought about by reference textbooks in control engineering. And these models are uh, C of S divided by R of S equal to K divided by J S squared plus B divided by J times S plus K divided by J and this is equal to W N squared divided by S squared plus 2 times C times Wn times S plus Wn squared. We are going to use these models, okay, brought about frequently by reference textbooks in control engineering to work with this expression here, okay? And uh, we see here that B divided by j is equal to 2 times to wn squared, okay? We are going to use this, okay? Save this because we are going to use this. And the other, the other thing that we, no, okay, uh, I made a mistake here, okay? What, what we need to think about is that k divided by j is equal to Wn squared and B divided by j is equal to 2 times C times Wn, okay? So this is what we are going to use, all right? And with these techniques, 
that reference uh, books in control engineering advise us to use, we are going to be successful in working with the expression here. All right. And the problem says that we have to adjust the system to fit specifications. And what are the specifications that we need to meet? The specifications that we need to meet is that C is equal to 0 0.8. And the other specification that we need to meet is that TS is equal to 8 seconds. Okay? These are the specifications that we need to meet. And as TS... TS is equal to 4 divided by C uh, times WN, which is 8 seconds. And uh, then we're going to see that it is equal to 4 divided by 0 0.8 times WN. And then we find that WN is equal to 0 0.625. Okay? the first parameter that we needed to find, we already found. Okay, now let's try to find the other parameters. All right, so I'm gonna erase it here and I'm gonna talk to you about what is needed. And likewise, like, likewise, 2 times C times WN is equal to 20 KP plus 1 divided by 100. Okay? I'm going to divide this expression and this expression by 100. Okay? To meet the specifications and use the expressions brought about by the reference textbooks. Divide the numerator and the denominator by 100, and then we get this. Okay, and if we conduct some algebraic manipulations, and if we consider that C is equal to 0 0.8, we're gonna find that um, 160WN is equal to 20KP plus 1. Okay? And if we substitute the value of Wn that we found equal to 0 0.625, and 5, we're going to find that 160 times 0 0.625 is equal to 20kp plus 1. Okay, and then we find that kp, kp is equal to... 4.95, okay? So this is the value of Kp that we want us to find. So Kp here, Kp is equal to 4.95. And then we need to find Ki. Ki is going to be found by doing this. Lastly, 0 0.2 times Ki is equal to Wn squared. And then we find that Ki is equal to 1.95. Okay, so Ki, 1.95. All right, my friends. So, uh, the, the exercise said that we want to operate with underdamped, underdamped uh, second order poles, okay? And what does it mean to be underdamped? When the poles are underdamped, C is between 0 and 1. Here we are using C equal to 0 0.8. And the settling time has to be equal to 8 seconds. And to meet the specifications, we need to use these values for the proportional and the integral gain. Okay? So. This is the video about the uh, proportional and integral controller. 
and if we use these values for the proportional gain and the integral gain, we are going to meet the specifications. The system is going to behave exactly as we wanted it to behave with under them the second order poles. Okay, my friends. So this was the video that I wanted to make. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm a teacher, and if you want to book a lesson with me, contact me using my WhatsApp number, guys. Goodbye.